Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a Gundam video game, and this is going to be the Gundam Seed Battle Assault for Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so let's see if this thing holds up, or if it was even any good. Alright, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Battle Assault uh, is a uh, video game from Bandai Namco, released on Game Boy Advance in 2004. What games were you playing in 2004? I was playing a lot of Game Boy Advance during that time. I really liked the Game Boy Advance, but didn't play anything Gundam. So while this is part of a line of Gundam fighting games by Natsume, we're just going to be reviewing it as it is on the Game Boy Advance. Now as for the property this is, again, it's Gundam Seed, so it's not UC, so it is cool to kind of jump into a game that's not within Universal Century. Uh, but I don't know if that uh, helped with its popularity, if this is what people were expecting. As for the graphics, I think it looks amazing. So this this is the time where the Game Boy Advance had some amazing graphics that were like pushing the limits of what we were learning to love during the 16-bit era, things like on the SNES and the Sega Genesis. And as we move forward with the Game Boy Advance, the limitations were still there somewhat, mainly the LCD screen, but the 2D graphics that were being pumped out looked amazing. Now watching some of the animations, it's really hard to tell if these were pre-rendered, and by pre-rendered I mean if they maybe modeled these in a different program and then took frame by frame into the GBA. Because sometimes just the way the shadows look when the when there's a frame of animation, and you gotta look a little close to see it, but it just looks really good. Yeah, they could have been, they done it, they did it by hand, but just the way it looks, it gives off that pre-rendered feel, kind of like Donkey Kong Country, for example. As for controls, since we're working with the Game Boy Advance. There's really only four buttons, but that's fine. I mean, at this time, I remember playing the King of Fighters EX series on the Game Boy Advance, and it was still uh, fine to do. So you've got like a more of a close range and long range attack, and then you have uh, what you use for your thrust, where you can, you know, exceed heights from jumping or zoom left and right if you're not double dashing with the D-pad. And then there's like an extra attack button, which is different for all. Uh, the different mobile suits, but you do that in combinations with like up, down, left, right, and you can uh, do a bunch of different moves that are actually pretty fun. Uh, with your special attack or special weapon and down at the same time, you do the thing where that seed pops up, right, like in the show, and then you're a little more powerful. That then allows you to do your follow-up special, where it's the same combination down and that uh, special uh, attack button, and it does like a super. What's cool is by playing this on uh, emulators on retro achievements, it can actually track that, so it will track that I've beat uh, a match using a special with a certain mobile suit. I kind of like that. That's the thing I like about the retro achievements. As for sound, you know there's nothing special here, and I can't even recognize if it's anything from the Gundam Seed show. If anyone does recognize it, let me know. But um, what it does do, it just has that sound I would expect like from a 16-bit game, especially a fighting game. I mean, having like the fight, the win, those, you know, at the beginning and the end, the animation, it pulls all the things that like Street Fighter made, you know, popular, and it just does it fun here on the Game Boy Advance with this game. And what's nice about this is there are a lot of game modes. So there's a normal mode, which is kind of just like going through the main campaign with a mobile suit character. Uh, verse mode is like what you think, training mode, survival, time limit mode, time trial mode, free battle mode, options, and password, which is pretty cool because you can enter a password to unlock things because there are uh, characters to unlock. So we, we start with the Strike, Aegis, Buster, Raider, Calamity, Forbidden, Duel, uh, Blitz, and then there are some unlockables like the Astray, the other version of the Freedom, Justice. So I definitely say this, if you're a fan of Gundam, this is a fun game to play. In general, if you're a fan of fighting games, it's fun to play. It's not gonna knock your socks off, it doesn't do anything new, but I'd say if you like playing Game Boy Advance games, this is a fun fighter to play, just in general. It's like Rise of the Ashes for me. If I didn't even know it was Gundam, I would think it's fun anyway. But as a Gundam game, I think it's, uh, it, even better, like it's a super competent game that is the Gundam IP. We don't always get that all the time, so it's really good to see that it was there. I'm gonna have to check out the other fighters they did to see how well those are. Well, that's about it. That's a look at uh, the Gundam uh, Battle Assault, Gundam Seed Battle Assault for GBA, a fun 2D fighting game, great graphics, good gameplay. Uh, I think it's worth it for anyone to play. So thanks for watching. You know, thanks for all the supporters that make this possible. Check the links in the description for ways you can support the channel if you're into that. But we also have a Discord. We do have a lot of fun there, so check that out if you want to. And also, yeah, watch the, the gameplay. I'll have the rest of the gameplay up to watch. See you.